are on a bit of a road map out, aren't we? We've heard that term so many times. We're on a road map out of the pandemic. Well, today I'm going to take you on a bit of a road trip. So I'd love you to come with me. Schools are opening up. People are heading back. My goodness, you could not have foreseen what school will look like in the next couple of weeks a year ago. Hope you all do have a great week though. And look, I find that uh, with this little road trap, road trap, road trip, road map, get them mixed. Um, as a teacher, I've been a teacher for longer than any of you have been alive. Oh my goodness, that's a bit worrying, isn't it? But as a teacher, I love the parallels that God um, shows me through life and in teaching. And I was a food tech teacher, so I used to talk about the morphological structure of things, the chemical uh, changes that would occur in food, love that stuff. So I'm going to take you on that bit of a road trip today, just briefly, about uh, a little commonly used, but not much thought about, cereal grain. So come with me. So you've all seen this little cereal grain. There's over 12 different cereal grains. I don't know if you're aware of that. And I'm going to let you look those up. But I do want to tell you one that I always find really interesting. And it is triticale. That is a cereal grain. So for you high school students or you primary school kids who love words, look that one up. Do a bit of a Google. Or, oh, no, go back to a dictionary. T-R-I-T-I-C-A-L-E. Anyway, I want to ask you a question. So you can be doing this at home in your lounge room or in your head um, or to your um, friend that you've got over or if you're over at their place. What do all these things have in common? Now, this one, that's fairly straightforward. Oh, phew, 22nd of January, 2022. I've got a bit of time before I have to eat first. Mm -hmm. I can smell that smell. We're able to go back to the movies. Aren't you going to love that? So far, I bet you do know this one. Mm -hmm. And it's hell with. Now, I am not paid by any company to do a verification of their product, all right? This one, actually it has nothing in common with them, but I've got it for later when I need a bit of a break. This one, fairly straightforward. Now we're getting a little bit harder. What do these have in common with those things? Hmm. If you've got a packet at home, I wonder if you're checking out the ingredients. Ah. Oh, I went looking for these variety packs and we used to be able to get all these things. And of course now Kellogg's put their own one out, which was a bit of a disappointment because, oh no, it's got the Cocoa Pops, but these, what does this have in common? Oops, what are these? All that. Now, we don't have a cat, but I know two people who do have a cat, Anne, Elise. You'll be able to give to that to your furry grey thing that hates me. <laughs> I'm trying to win it over. This one. Alright, so, have you worked it out yet? Hang on, just got to do something. Can anyone work out what I'm doing? Mm. Mm. Just having a little corn experience. Did you work it out?
all those things, even this, has corn in it. This has a corn syrup, a sugar that's made from corn. These jubes need a corn syrup for them to technically be natural. Still has sugar in it. Bit of a spoiler alert there. These things, I guess, are fairly ob obvious. Now, why on earth am I telling you about these things? These things often really, to me, reflect God. Okay, so, start off with something like this, like us as a person. Now, if you try and chew that, you'll break your teeth. But God, over time, changes and uses us to be and to become something different. Still a basic little corn, little person on the inside, but he makes us into wonderful things. Now, I want to show you something, if you can see up on the back, the morphological structure of a grain. Now, this is the stuff I love in food science, where you actually look at it, and you see that there's parts to it. You've got the hair of brush, not the hairbrush, but it's called hair of brush or brush. Then you've got the husk, and that actually comes down to this outside area, a bit like us and our skin. So even a corn kernel reminds me of what we are as a person and the complexity of us. The endosperm. Now, the endosperm is often used for different parts of foods and can be used in breads and cereal you know, products. They'll blend this all together, take it all apart, and then they'll put bits of it back into cereals called enriching. There's the germ or the em embryo, and that's often used. Oh, thank you. I like that, James. Um, uh, that's often used in products that help us with our health. You know, you go to a health food shop and you might what's, want some wheat germ. Okay, so, again, it's quite complicated, isn't it? A bit corny, really, when you think I'm using corn to illustrate us. But... All these products have gone through changes, and I guess that's what I'm saying to you, that when we have a faith in God, when we um, accept uh, God into our life, we undergo changes. And sometimes there's even a huge change. What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Where's popcorn? This has to go through fire almost, or heat, an extreme heat, to become something yummy, salty. How long have I got? <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> now you you know how when you watch telly and then you see an ad, like these Kit Kats, and then you think, oh, mate, I feel like a Kit Kat subliminal uh, education. Anyway, back to the story. So, from something like this, from a little human being that's born, through to where we go through trials, we go through lots of joys, there's lots of great things in our lives, there's struggles too. Some people might be struggling a bit to go back to school and thinking, oh, it's going to be a bit scary. Other people thinking, oh, it's just another routine. And if you're like in my family, I used to say to my boys, only 10 weeks to go till holidays, okay? So, you know, sometimes there's things in our life that we don't like. But you know, it's I liken it to like popcorn. There's heat. There's certain conditions. But in the end, we change, we grow, we become something different to what we were to begin with. And I think that is actually the beauty of what God does in our life. He actually helps us go through things and cope with things. He knows our makeup. He knows all the little bits and pieces in us. And he is our father. He looks after us and cares for us. All right, so you don't like popcorn. Do you get the hint of what I've been talking about? That who we are and what we are inside is put there through 
God and through our personality and through our life experiences and hopefully that if you allow him to work in your life you'll be able to uh, be something that can do and show his love in your life and for those around you. Have a great week. God bless.